Welcome to Fine Fires YouTube. We got some Disneyland updates coming out of nowhere. So last night we did a late night live stream and I said we were going to talk about it again. <sighs> this news just doesn't get any easier. Fantasmic at Disneyland Resort will not be returning until spring 2024. When the show returns, it will no longer include the dragon figure that we all know to be called Murphy, but it will feature new special effects and a new battle scene between Sorcerer Mickey and Maleficent. Uh, the main thing, now that I've had time to think about this, um, I don't even think they want to run B mode. Uh, one thing I'm really thinking about too, I don't even think they want to do fire effects. I, I really feel like they want to go away from fire effects. Uh, that's how I'm interpreting this. I still believe that there'll be fireworks and the big grand finale that we all love. But yeah, Murphy not coming back at all. And then here's an official statement. And shout out to Scott Gustin for keeping us informed on all of this on Twitter. Our goal is to always deliver the best possible show for our guest. With that in mind, we are planning the return of Fantasmic with exciting new magic in spring 2024. As teams continue to work on the show, we have launched a nightly entertainment on Rivers of America this summer, and we're working on even more exciting entertainment offerings for our guest later this year. I hope that's Halloween. I hope what they mean by that is Halloween offerings. Uh, I find it hard to believe that we'll get some type of entertainment offering for Christmas time at Rivers of America, but I hope it's Halloween related. A lot of people saying cadaver dance. Uh, who knows? Who knows how creative Disney wants to get with entertainment coming uh, in spite of losing Fantasmic. But Murphy, will we ever get an animatronic? A lot of people are even saying drones could be coming. I don't think so. Uh, Disney's in a cost saving mode, so. This is just not looking good. Not looking good. All right, let's move on to the big news that broke today being Wednesday. What in the Baba Freak was this? This came out of Disney Parks. Foodie news beginning September 12th. You know, really not that far away. Carnation Cafe, Riverbell Terrace, and Cafe Orleans will introduce delish new offerings along with wine, beer, Specialty cocktails and non-alcoholic beverages. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Did did I read that right? Like, I had to reread it because I wasn't sure. Yes, more alcohol coming to Disneyland. And it looks like they're obviously keeping it at sit-downs. Uh, currently, we have alcohol, Oga's Cantina... And you can't, like, walk out of there, so you have to drink it inside. Uh, and it's supposedly two-drink limit in there. Uh, we also have alcohol being served with the Hurricane and a couple other beers at Blue Bayou. Really, there was no negative feedback for the most part. You know what I mean? Nobody's really getting out of there all belligerent for the most part because you're probably dropping a lot of money and it's just not worth it. Um, I think this is a good idea. Why not? Um, I was reading the comments in this Twitter post, and uh, right here, it says, this makes Club 33 obsolete now. <sighs> For the most part, I feel like fans in the comment section are happy about this edition, and um, I don't think that they're going to mess up the menus in any type of way. You know, the staples that you would have at Carnation or staples you would have at Riverbell Terrace. Cafe or Lanes. I think it's going to be alcohol that's going to be themed to Halloween. Because this is coming right at September 11, uh, 12th. Right in the heart of the Halloween spirit over there at Disneyland. And uh, why not? Why not just do themed alcoholic drinks? <laughs> uh, we have more information that actually got posted from Scott Gustin on Twitter. Starting September 12th, Riverbell Terrace will launch a brunch offering. Which, that sounds exciting. Uh, six new food items for lunch and dinner, including roasted summer squash and barbecue burnt and pasta and a wild berry mule, which is going to be alcoholic, and a Mississippi mud pie non-alcoholic. Full menu coming soon. I'm glad Riverbell Terrace is getting love because I have had no desire to go there. No long ever, honestly. I'm just going to say ever. Starting September 12, Cafe Lanes will bring back the potato and sausage soup 
and introduced a PIMS Hurricane, which is alcoholic, and Bayou Punch, non-alcoholic, full menu soon. Is the PIMS Hurricane just the same thing that's being served at Blue Bayou? And they're just going to serve it now at Cafe Orleans? Okay. Okay. And for Carnation Cafe, uh, on September 12th, we'll offer new veggie skillet, Waltz chili cheese omelet, Bloody Mary alcoholic. Okay. Wow. Mimosa options with breakfast. Nice. <laughs> I know a lot of people who were like, we want to be drinking at 8 a.m. I was like, oh, my gosh. But, hey, I guess it's going to be a reality. A peach pie margarita and an orange cream soda, non-alcoholic for other mealtimes. Full menu coming soon. The updates are part of the menu items being added to the menus across the resort this fall. Also important, there are no plans to introduce alcoholic beverages at quick service locations within Disneyland. So it looks like, for the most part, this is just a sit-down kind of thing. They're just trying to hit the sit-downs. Pretty much like Magic Kingdom, honestly, over there in Walt Disney World. Um, big change coming to Disneyland from many different directions. What is your guys' thoughts on the Fantasmic news? What is your guys' thoughts on this like alcohol at more sit-down locations all across Disneyland? Post in the comments, start the conversation, let's hear your opinion. Thank you for watching Five Fires YouTube, smash that like button on the way out, and thank you for supporting the fire. We are firing it down.